I've got five rules for you today that are foolproof rules that you can use anytime you go shopping for your capsule wardrobe so that you bring in pieces that work with everything else in your closet. So let's dive right in. Hello fashionista, it's Nancy Queen and today we are talking about five things you need to do when you're purchasing a new item for your wardrobe. So you're out shopping, you run across this hoodie. Okay, this is one of my husband's pieces. It's humongous. <laughs> Clearly not my style. However, however, let's say I really am wanting to go for a beach vibe. I fall in love with this terry cloth thing and I decide, I should I buy it? I don't know. I, I really like it. Okay, so here are the five things you need to know before you make this purchase to maximize your capsule wardrobe. So again, we're buying pieces. If you've watched any of my other videos on this topic, and I'll link them here and in the description, we're talking about a capsule wardrobe and bringing in items that really maximize your closet so that instead of wearing one item one way or one outfit one way, you can mix and max match your pieces so that you have hundreds of outfit options just with a few pieces of clothing. Let's say this is the item that we're bringing in. The first thing you want to consider before purchasing an item is, is it your style? Like we get so wowed by seeing maybe saw it on a model or you saw it in a photograph uh, online or on an influencer and you thought, oh, that's really a beautiful look. But is it your style? Or maybe a friend said, oh, you should try that on. Is it your style before you buy it? Like really consider that. The second thing you want to consider before even trying this on, is it your color palette? So as you can see here, this is kind of a washed out rocket pop sweatshirt in red, white, and a really pale blue. So if you look at my wardrobe, it's really intense color, saturated colors, but it's white, navy, bright pink, and then pops a really intense color here and there. So in this case, I would say this is not my color palette. Okay, let's say you said yes to those things, okay? And it was a go. So you decide to try it on. The next thing you wanna make sure of, does it fit? Does it look good on you? If it doesn't look good on you, it could pass all of those other tests, but if it doesn't look good on you and you don't like the way you feel in it, it's a no. It's a definitely a no-go. You move on to the next item. Don't even spend your time weighing. If you don't like the way it looks on you, you take it off and you move on. The fourth tip I have for you when you're shopping is the care. Now, is it a dry clean only item? Does it have to be hung to dry? You know, maybe you're in a small apartment and you don't really have a place to dry, hand dry things or if you're not really near a dry cleaner or you hate the expense of dry cleaning and it's a dry clean only item, keep those things in mind because you want to keep clothes in your wardrobe that fit your lifestyle that you're gonna wear again and again. Most, for the most part, almost all of my clothes, now the exception is the dress that I have on and this dress, is most of my clothes are wash, I put them in the washer, the dryer, some all hang to dry, but for the most part, I really love easy care and that's what fits my lifestyle. So I don't go ahead and buy something that's a dry clean item on a regular occasion because that just is not me. That's not what I like. So if I see it's a dry clean only item, uh, if I'm gonna have to dry clean it more than once or twice a year, I take it off the list. So that's number four on the list. And then number five, which to me with a capsule wardrobe, this is the most important thing. Does the item you're looking for go with at least three other items in your capsule wardrobe? And in the beginning, maybe what you wanna do is take photos of all your clothes so that you have 
you can, if you're out shopping or you're shopping online, you can swipe through and see, it kind of reminds me of Clueless where she's got this wardrobe full of clothing that she can swipe through and look at. Uh, that's what you wanna do. You wanna think to yourself, does this go with at least three items in my wardrobe already? If the answer is no, then don't bring it in because you're looking for pieces that can be mixed and matched and coordinated with everything else in your closet with so that you have instead of okay well it goes with this one pair of jeans okay I can wear it with my blue jeans well that's one outfit however if you could wear this with three other items or four other items that you have in your closet then you've just quadrupled this you've turned one outfit into four outfits so that's what you want to keep in mind that to me is the entire key to a capsule wardrobe is being able to mix and match and maximize your wardrobe. So let me know if these tips help you and I will see you in the next video.